Patch 6.2 gave us a whole lot of stuff that has a lot of people, me included, excited for what's coming next in the story. We got Archfiends, Void Scent Lore, the female emo version of Vaughtry, and a new mystery villain who is preparing for a war that I think is going to give us an in-game present day version of an event that I've wanted more info about for a very, very long time. But we'll talk about that in a bit. First we need to discuss the massive armored monster Golbez himself and who I think he is. That answer is pretty simple. I think he's Zero's father. Now why do I think that? Well, they're both emo and they dress in black. Duh. So now that we've explained that part, we can move on to the next part of the video. I'm obviously joking. Don't go yelling at me in the comments section just yet. At least wait until the end of the video. And I have put more thought into my theory than their clothing choices, although the two of them do seem to be the most emo of all the denizens of the 13 that we've seen so far. For starters, Zero's backstory had me thinking that she has a close connection to Golbez from the minute she said that she knows his name but she can't remember from where. Considering the fact that a lot of the Void Scent know him as a super powerful conqueror, it means that they learned of him after he started his campaign for power. Zero wasn't even aware of the fact that Barbarisha was one of Golbez's archfiends, which makes it pretty easy to guess that she knew the man before he became who he is. That brings us to Zero's origin story. The Eidolons had been unleashed on the world wreaking havoc and such like they tend to do, and heroes had appeared with the power to seal them in crystals. I think that ability is the internment spell that Erethonius and La Habrea used in Pandemonium to seal an enemy inside of a crystal, only it was granted to the heroes of the 13th as part of the Echo. Now that's just a guess, one that I haven't put much thought into yet, so don't quote me on it. Anyway, Zero said that her mother was one of these heroes, but she didn't say that she was the first. I think that honor goes to her husband who's Golbez. During the Contra Memorial War, Zero's mom got pregnant by means that you can google yourself, and while she was pregnant, she was infected by the darkness. The way Zero said this at first had me thinking that the flood of darkness had changed her mother, but apparently the flood wouldn't happen until years after Zero was born. So this war lasted for a very long time, likely decades since Zero said that she stopped aging after she became an adult. Now the Eidolons were sealed away, and the world was thought to be saved, but some of the heroes ended up being corrupted by the beings that they sealed. Zero and her mom were among the ones who weren't, but again I think her dad was the first one to get corrupted and he started creating Void Sin, something that we saw Golbez use Ajdaya to do when he made his four archfiends. The war continued, Zero and her side lost, the flood of darkness hit, and Zero was knocked into the rift. That's what she said anyway, but I don't think she was actually knocked into the rift. I think Elidibus may have tried to grab her like he did with Unakali and Silva, but he may have been too slow and lost his grip on her, which is why she ended up floating in the rift. When she made it back, her memory was likely still intact, but after Zenos corrupted her, she clearly has a few holes that need to be filled, and I think her being on the source will likely lead to her remembering both Golbez and his plan, but she'll probably give us the information too late. He'll have already made his move and launched his attack against the people he's been preparing to fight. So who is it that I think Golbez is preparing for war with? It may seem strange, but I think he's mustering his strength in building an army and preparing to attack the place that has what he needs to complete his mission. He's going after the first. Golbez, if my assumptions are true, is a hero who tried to save his world, and he's still doing that. But to save a world corrupted by darkness, you need an entire world full of light. And the first is the only place that has what he needs. This is where the problem comes in. We saved the first. The Sin Eaters are disappearing, the ether of the world is slowly rebalancing, and if the Void Sin invade, the people of the first will have no chance of surviving. Which of course means that Ishtola will have to learn how to teleport to the first, so the Scions and everyone else can take part in what I've been wanting to see for a very long time. The War of the Magi 2.0, where light and dark clash and red mages reign supreme. Anyway, I've rambled on for long enough. If you guys enjoyed my babbling prediction, hit the like button, subscribe, donate, and all the other YouTube stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.